What up YouTube, Will here, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to make something very special. I think we all agree that everyone loves a good cake and at the same time you can't finish a lovely dinner without an amazing dessert. So today I give a little twist to one of my favorite desserts, tiramisu, but as a gâteau. This cake right here ladies and gents is a winner to celebrate that special occasion. So without further ado, Let's get cracking. To start things off on a bain-marie or a double boiler, whisk together your egg yolks and sugar until pale in color and well combined. Make sure to not rush during the step by keeping the heat between low and medium, ensuring that you don't end up with a sweet egg yolk omelette. Once the sugar has well combined, whisk in a couple of tablespoons of disarona or the alcohol of your choice. Once that's done, add in your mascarpone cheese and whisk away until you get a consistency like so. Mmm, yummy. Then, in another bowl, which has previously been in the fridge for a good half an hour, add in your double cream and whisk until you get soft formed peaks, like so. Then, immediately add your mascarpone mixture and fold it into the double cream. Once well combined, your mascarpone filling is done. Set aside in the refrigerator until it's needed. To make the Victorian sponge cake layers, we're going to use the same recipe that we used in my Biscoff Victoria sponge cake video. Let's start things off with the butter and sugar and whisk those two thoroughly and well until pale and fluffy and the sugar dissolved. Then add in your eggs one by one and whisk away. Whilst that's combining, time to bust some moves. Once well combined, add in some vanilla along with a splash of milk and combine. Then slowly incorporate the flour into the batter and once done, divide it evenly into two 8 inch cake tins that have been pre-greased and lined. Level off the batter and pop into a preheated oven at 180 Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes until a skewer comes out clean. When these bad boys have finished baking, set them aside to cool. And in the meantime, let's make our coffee liqueur. Here, I'm making things easy for everyone. Start things off with a couple of tablespoons of instant coffee, three tablespoons of sugar and 400 ml of hot water. Give that a good mix and add a splash of alcohol. Here I'm using this Arona, one of the liqueurs used traditionally for tiramisu and has a lovely sweet almond flavor, which I think is perfect for this cake. Of course, feel free to use spirits such as rum or vin santo. Give it a mix, have a cheeky taste, more alcohol and repeat until you're knocked out. Let that cool down a bit and hopefully by this time your cakes have cooled down and you're able to divide each of them in half to make four lovely sponge cake layers. Now that we have all the elements of our cake, let's start assembling. To start things off, pipe a bit of the mascarpone filling onto your cake base, ensuring the gâteau won't slide away from you. Then firstly, put down the bottom of one of your cake layers and start completely soaking it with the coffee liqueur. Because this is a sponge cake, it's able to soak in and hold a lot of moisture so you can be quite generous with the coffee liqueur. Here I'm using a squirty bottle so that later when I cut into the cake you would see a wavy effect in the sponge cake layers. Since the cake is going to be quite tall, I used a bit of acetate to hold all the layers together and allow that height. To make the mascarpone filling layer, pipe the mixture in a circular manner, starting from the center of the cake to the edge. This ensures that you have an evenly thick layer of filling. And when you've done that, even out and flatten the filling with a spatula. Pop your second layer of cake carefully. And start soaking it with that lovely coffee liqueur. Just a tip, make sure the second and third layer of the cake are the tops of the sponge cakes upside down. Continue the process of layering with the mascarpone and the next layer of coffee soaked cake. For the last cake layer, I used one of the sponge cake bottoms, soaked it with the coffee and layered it bottom up. This gives you a nice flat surface to work with when doing the final decorations. Soak the top of the cake with a little of the coffee liqueur and drink the rest and pop the whole cake in the fridge for about 30 minutes to firm up. Take off the acetate and start piping out your mascarpone filling to the side and top of the cake. Flatten and neaten out with the use of spatulas and cake scrapers. 
and dust the top with a generous coating of cocoa powder. Now the cake is complete at this point but of course if you want to decorate like me, especially if it's for that special celebration, pipe out some mascarpone filling flowers topped with tempered chocolate and your masterpiece is done. Hope you guys loved this tiramisu gateau recipe. If you did, of course, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share with your loved ones and follow me on Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date. As you can see, the cake is lovely delicate and moist yet holding its shape and it's mind-blowingly amazing. Hope you all have a lovely day and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.